no substitute for experience. Yeah. And then they're getting ring experience. Exactly. It's just it's so valuable. Introducing first. In the blue corner, holding a record of seven wins, 13 losses, and one draw. He's standing five feet, six inches tall. Weighing in at 157 pounds. 55. This man has an MMA yep. fighting style, and he's fighting out of Madison, Wisconsin. That he's representing Shark Bite MMA, ladies and gentlemen, Eugene the Crippler. Yeah, the uh, lot, we got a couple Shark Bite guys on the show tonight. Bill Finn, who runs the gym. Uh, Rochelle Besson, who's fighting Raquel Magdaleno in the title fight. And then, of course, Eugene here. This man has a striking fighting style and fighting out of Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Representing Valhalla Fight Club, ladies and gentlemen, D'Angelo Megatron Cardin. Megatron, huh? Boy, Megatron. That's, bold. that's bold. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Got the ankle brace on. Yeah, he does. D'Angelo coming off a nice win over uh, former collegiate wrestler Cody Payhan out in Alexandria oh, back really? in July. He also fought Byron Phillips earlier this year at 170. He almost caught him in an armbar in the third round. He was oh. just completely outmatched as far as size goes. What's with the rip short look? I don't know. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't either. Oops. Oh. Boy, does Eugene look confident. Yeah, he does. Center of the cage. Yeah, he does. Eyes forward. Counter in, yep. Oh, oh right shit. The face. The face is right. Like, Eugene's a guy we We've talked about bringing Eugene in to fight a couple different guys, uh -huh. and honestly, you know, a lot of them were the younger prospects. I thought Eugene was this probably a little too much for him. This is competitive, though, and back and forth. It is. You can see, uh, you know, Curtis has a size advantage slightly. Mm -hmm. Spot as high as 70. Yep. Get the body lock double unders. You know, he's been preparing for a fight for about two or three months here. Uh, you know, Eugene took this fight about two or three weeks ago. Oh, nice little jab him. there by Curtis. Like to see him follow it up with something. Yep, exactly. Like Lance said, you want to swing and move. Exactly. Don't stand there. Yeah, exactly. Get away. Ooh. Oh. Turned into quite the fight. Yeah. yeah. I know the they're burning a lot of energy, though. They're going to yeah. gas out, I think. Yeah, you think you're probably right. Yep. It's hard to maintain this type of pace. No matter how good a shape you're in. No matter how, exactly, yeah. yep. Wall walk, you're on the wall walk, try to stand up. There he goes. Nice shot. That's beautiful. Uh, right back down though. Oh boy. That's good. Gonna hurt the back. Yes. <laughs> it's like the uh, the Arn Anderson spine buster. <laughs> if you get that WCW yes. reference. Oh. Very Great knee to the body. Yeah. I'd like to point out, you know, this is a pro fight. Knees and elbows so, are nice. not allowed. This is nice. our first pro fight. Yes. Okay. We'll actually have a couple amateur fights uh, mixed in between. Their amateur title fights are a little bit higher up on the card. So these are five-minute rounds, correct? Correct, yes. Dropping down for a double. If you can get it. But the head's there, so. It's going to hurt the back. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Trying for a guillotine, it's hard to say. He might have him. Yeah. He oh, no, oh, wow. oh, he's out. Oh, wow. He's out. Wow. How does that happen? Holy smokes. Passed him out, cut off his air. I haven't seen Passed a guy out. finish a guillotine that quickly before. No. He put the leg over and went to the, almost no, the Marcelo. He did doctor do here? Uh, he should roll him back Wake over. Him he, he'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Roll him back over here. Right. Getting the wind knocked out of him? No, it's like getting the blood cut off your brain until you pass out. So, yeah. It's like a real life sleeper hole, basically. Like you'll see in professional it's wrestling. It's not dangerous if you let it go, but if you keep it on, there's some potential danger. First, you pee yourself, and then you poop yourself, and then you die. So, yeah, that's the process of it. But if you let, let it go right away. <laughs> right? Would you like to show meat sauce? An example of how good? Yeah, I would. Boom, boom. No, I'm <laughs> yeah, we'll show you later. <laughs> Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to thank you. D'Angelo's good. Right he's up. He's smiling. Good sign of respect. Maplewood, LA Fitness has been 
take good care of us for the last few months. Yeah, it's good to see that he's okay and yeah. he looks fine. He's up pretty quickly there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fighter and company, check out the green booth. Did go that day. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and 48 seconds in the first round, the winner by guillotine choke, Eugene, the Crippler, Chris Long. Yeah, Eugene might make for some pretty interesting fights. Yeah, definitely against anybody. Up and comers as a gatekeeper. And that, yep, yeah. absolutely. That's a very good way of describing a gatekeeper.